the next phase is to know who are the various influences in my life and who have influenced the thought processes that I carry today. Now, we all know that over time what we see, what we say and our views are strongly um, shaped by the media that we expose ourselves to. So the so our thoughts and our uh, uh, take shape by this medium which we allow to influence us. So it's important for us to understand that if you want to influence, uh, if you want to have our thoughts, therefore we should know which are the various influencers to our thoughts. Most of us over our growing up processes have a lot of role models. Now we can um, uh, like them, they might be people who are close to us, they might be uh, noted figures in history, but we have role models and these role models behaviors that they have displayed to attain the kind of success that they want or, or their goals in life, these influence our way of thinking. So these role models behavior also influences our thinking process. I for example have a role model which is a, a gentleman called Lee Kuan Yew, the father of the modern Singapore. So role models behaviors influencers. Now whenever we are knowing our influencers and we know the behaviors that they uh, depict, those behaviors come and start depicting our behaviors. Now influencers consciously we allow some of them unconsciously there are some who kind of come into our life depict how things are done guide how things should be done. Similarly there are influencing groups. I want to be seen to be close to a particular group and therefore these groups they start influencing our behavior. I want to be seen to be talking positively about something like don't like the groups which I hate I don't like. The kind of influencers I like the kind of influencers I dislike and the kind of influences I hate. Remember these are all to be understood because they shape our behaviors in turn. Now hate is also a very strong behavior. Uh, if I hate someone whatever the individual says whether it's correct or not so correct I will tend to dislike it. Yeah. Whatever the individual says I will tend to doubt it whatever that individual says I will tend to uh, counter it and ensure that that's not successful. So subtly this influencing process gets into our mind and we have to be conscious of it. So as a part of uh, our growing up once this influencing has taken some shape what happens is that we form our beliefs and these beliefs are then taking the shape of our thought processes which then help us which then shape our behaviors which then dictate our action this we know you know this is that classical what we call as the iceberg framework that we all talk of yeah so remember that behavior and action is what we are trying to change here if we transform our behavior, our action accordingly will get transformed. Which is why we are trying to see, we are trying to understand these various dimensions of for behavior transformation. Now, if there is an influencer who has had a significant impact on the my thought process and that thought process is incorrect, then I should be changing it. Therefore, it's important to go back to some of your behaviors, 
as we have done earlier why has that behavior taken shape who is the person who has influenced my thinking in that manner what was the input that i have taken in why what has been the experience that had made me think like that these are the various influencers which stop our ability to think objectively download the workbook from metl.in and go through this particular aspect of knowing your influencers this is to be done individually it's not to be done in groups it is a self introspection process so that we can know how our behavior developed the way it did self introspection as we know is difficult and it needs time now for that it's not that you have to set some time apart and sit for this it can be a background process which is on in your mind where you try to understand every aspect of your decision making process or the way you think once you know your thought process you can then transform your thought process but to transform you should know which direction to transform it which we will get for into the next steps